Hello everyone, this is what we are going to make today. Four different retro style coffee shop logos. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the notification so you don't miss my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so I created in one uh, Adobe Illustrator document, uh, letter size paper and the landscape orientation, and I made a one, the background layer with this dark uh, coffee color, and also, I have the three color palettes I'm going to use. Dark coffee color, orange, and a very light like a beige color. So before we start, we need to create the, um, some um, the symbols first, as we saw in my very beginning. Uh, the two coffee cups and then a one uh, kind of a coffee beans. So let's create this. I'm going to set uh, my fill color in this. And then uh, let me just move over here let me draw this let me draw one perfect circle like this and then let me draw uh, one line invisible line doesn't matter cut in half select both and then let me use my shape builder hold down the option cut cut and cut good and also i'm gonna draw one ring so let me draw a circle. Let me increase the stroke weight about that. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to place it there. Somewhere there. Yep. And select object. Let me expand it. Okay. And then Pathfinder. Let me unite it. So handle and the coffee cups. Also, I'm going to have uh, one little bar like a coffee coaster or a little plate and the color is going to be the same color stroke color and let me increase the stroke weight about this size and the round cap okay I'm going to move it down a little bit and then let me also expand it so I can change the color later that's going to be easier All right and also I need to create a kind of a steam so uh, there is a way to do it so let me draw one vertical lines I'm gonna draw at a new anchor point in the middle somewhere here and then let me choose my anchor point tool and let me make that something like this kind of a S flipped S okay so it looks good. Now let me draw that shape. I'm going to draw um, just to fill this color. Let me draw oval. Kind of a little bit fat oval like that. Then choose the your at, uh, anchor point tool from your toolbar toolbox. So um, click there and click there. All right. Then select this. Open your brushes panel. And then I drag and drop this process panel to here as an art brush. Okay. Say okay. So we have that. So I don't need it anymore. Select this. So stroke color is that. And the stroke option is going to be this new brush. So we have this. All right. Okay. It looks kind of a little bit big. I'm going to make it slightly smaller, a little bit narrower like that. And then I'm going to have two more copies. One here and another one there. And these two, I want to make it a little bit smaller. Like that. Slightly. Okay. And this one, I'm going to move it up slightly. This one move down a little bit. Okay, select all together and object and expand appearance. All right, so it looks good. Let me select everything. I'm going to group them. So the first coffee mug is done. Coffee cup. And I'm going to need another one. This time, let me draw. choose the rectangle tool and I'm gonna set my fill color to that light beige color 
use my eyedropper this and let me draw about that size okay it's good let me zoom in and use my um, direct selection tool select the uh, bottom two anchor points you see the um, uh, those two little tiny circles let me round the corner right then let me switch my fill color to nothing and then stroke color in that light beige i'm going to draw one circle using the uh, ellipse tool let me draw a circle about that size i'm going to make it heavier let me place it somewhere there so um, it looks good then let me control ob object menu and expand it say so, okay select both I'm going to open Pathfinder and unite it as one shape okay then uh, let me add one more thing uh, I'm gonna draw uh, one rectangle here about that size a little bit upper and then I'm gonna apply this dark color and then using my uh, direct selection tool on the bottom right corner anchor point let me round it so i'm here there okay i'm going to move this make it a little bit taller like that okay also i'm gonna need that stem as well so i'm gonna select it uh, let me just ungroup them let me make a copy of this this whole thing option drag it there and let me apply the same color all right so this is done i'm going to group them object group object group them okay so we have two objects two symbols i'm going to need one more the coffee beans uh this time i'm going to use the same tools uh so let me try this uh let me use this color i'm going to draw one oval like that let's say this is a coffee bean and then let me draw one vertical lines oh you know what i forgot this the little plate okay i'm gonna regroup them object and group okay in here now let me use my line tool i'm gonna draw the one vertical line in the center like that maybe a little bit taller not too tall somewhere there and somewhere here and use the uh, your add anchor point tool add one anchor point in the middle there okay now switch your tool to an anchor point tool i'm gonna make it uh like this s shape something like that then apply from your brushes panel we remember that we made this before okay so it looks good okay then i'm gonna make it slightly thinner the lighter uh maybe um that's too much that looks better then object expand it select both then choose the uh, your shape builder tool let me zoom in hold down the option delete delete and delete it let me zoom in i just want to make sure that let me cut this one as well on the bottom option cut okay so this is kind of really basic the coffee beans so let me select them uh, and then let me group them as one i'm going to rotate it a little bit not too much maybe about that size that angle let me hold down the option keep pressing your mouse button and the shift key and drag it and i'm going to rotate it somewhere like here a little bit further okay so it looks good then now 
go to object menu path offset path and this is too much let me have like eight let me check or seven let me try seven it looks better okay now select everything shape builder hold down the option delete 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 that delete all outer path first okay then from here option let me zoom in let me delete that one this this so what we are finding the cracks in the middle of this coffee bean okay so i think it looks good all right then let me select everything pathfinder and united okay and then i want to make some little more stuff like uh, under object menu let me ungroup them let me select this right beans these two i'm going to rotate it slightly and move to here so it looks better now select everything and then under object menu and group them all right so i think we are ready to go now so let's start from the other first uh logo logo number one so first before we start i'm going to uh open my layers panel let me hide my background layer so um i can see the other shape better so first the thing is we're gonna make the um, kind of a background shape so let me choose my uh, uh, ellipse tool i'm gonna select uh, this color and let me click somewhere the size is gonna be 300 point by 300 point it's a perfect circle just like this okay then now go to edit menu copy and edit menu paste in front then let me change the color to this uh, light beige color then now hold down the option click on the corner and the shift key i'm going to make it smaller about that size somewhere there okay so it looks good now let me select the my the outer uh the big circle uh this time i'm going to do this edit copy again and paste in front again then uh, i'm going to move that thing i'm going to move it uh, arrange send to back then let me switch the color to this orange we don't see it but it is behind hold down the option choose the other uh, corner keep pressing and the shift key and make it slightly bigger like the bullseye then now go to effect menu distort and transform and zigzag okay so size i think it's a bit big and then the numbers of uh, rich i'm gonna have maybe five let's see so it looks good and say okay then now go to object menu expand appearance then select your the direct selection tool and choose the one of this tiny circle keep pressing and round so it looks good All right then select that shape now go to object menu this time then go to path offset path seven and four i think that looks okay and okay so it looks the same but let me switch the field color of the new one to this i'm going to apply uh the orange text uh, the line color so which is from my swatches panel this third one and i'm going to increase the stroke weight a little bit so we have that okay thing maybe yeah, a little bit thicker so it looks good so let me make the other bottom layer um, visible 
So we have a basic shape now. So now it's time to type the letter. So select the inner circle, this one. Then go to select your uh, and go to the edit menu, copy and paste in front. So we just made another copy right on top. Now choose your type on the path tool. Click on the border. My text color, I'm going to choose this light beige text color. And then my typographic choice is uh, Rockwell, uh, bold. And let me type the word, uh, the Cafe Monte Alto. This is the, uh, uh, the local coffee shop in my town. Their coffee is great. Uh, I'm going to rotate a little bit there. Okay. So it looks good. Uh, you can control the, um, the, uh, the baseline of your text by uh, changing this number, the baseline shift to the bottom, to the top, so you can move it up and down. So I have a one now. And next, I want to have another text on the bottom, uh, the best coffee in town thing. So let me copy this text and paste in front. So it's right there. We don't see it. It's right on top of them. And now go to um, type menu, type on the path, type on the path options, and check the flip. Say OK. It is there, but we don't see it because the, the, it is in the, the inner circle. So what I'm going to do is, let me change this, the baseline shift. Keep pressing, see? It's coming up. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. We can change it later. And then let me type different word. This time I'm going to type uh, fast coffee in town. Okay. Then let me change the uh, my type. I'm going to choose this. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And then baseline shift a little bit up like that. Okay. And then uh, also the tracking, you can control it. That looks better. And let me center it somewhere there. Okay. Then now I'm going to add the just got a really simple star. So let me choose my star tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let me draw one here. Place it there. And let me make a copy option. Keep pressing the shift. So there's a second star. Okay. All right. And the last one is I want to have uh, the coffee. This one. So let me make a copy to the top, it goes behind. So object menu, arrange it and bring to front. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger there. Okay, so my logo number one is done. Let me select, I'm gonna group them, make it a little bit smaller and let me put this there. Now logo number two. Choose the your ellipse tool, and the color we're gonna use is the this uh, this chocolate color, and then I'm gonna select um, my stroke color to this orange. Okay, and let me draw one perfect circle, same size, 300 point by 300 point, just like this. Okay, and then let me make a copy of this and paste in front, and select the one corner. Hold down the option, keep pressing, and the shift key, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. About that size. Okay, looks good. Okay, select both. I want to unify the um, stroke weight, like a two point, so that looks good. Okay, now, uh, I'm going to type something first. Cafe Monte Alto. So let me select the inner circle. I'm going to copy it 
and paste in front. And I'm going to use that new circle as for the uh, as a kind of a path. So choose the your type on the path tool. There. Um, my character. Uh, I'm going to use Rockwell again. This and then baseline shift. Not now. And then my text color. I'm going to use this. All right. And let me type it. Cafe Monte Alto. Okay. And then let me make it bigger, like a 40 point. Uh, let me type 40. That was the type size I typed before. And then I'm going to shift up a little bit. And then uh, Monte Alto, the bolt, the Rockwell bolt. That's the typeface I was using. Okay. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit like that. Okay. Next, I'm going to have a kind of little band. So uh, let me choose my rectangular tool, rectangle tool. And then um, I'm going to use, I'm going to draw uh, one kind of a, like a bar in the middle. Uh, let me choose the same colors as this ring. So there's the uh, dark coffee bean color and the orange stroke. So um, let me draw it something like that. Okay. I'm going to move this down a little bit. And then I think I need to rotate it a little bit more. Okay. This. Then select this ring, uh, the inner circle. I'm going to move it, arrange, bring to front. So like we have this. I'm going to move it up slightly. All right. So this ring, everything, select everything. I'm going to center it just to make sure. Center. Okay. Yep. Looks good. Then select that bar, the box. Choose the, your add anchor point tool. I'm going to add the other new anchor point here and there. Let me switch my tool to a direct selection tool. Select this middle one. I'm going to push not too much and this one as well. Okay. So it looks good. Then let me type the uh, another word on the bottom. Uh, best coffee in town. I'll do the same thing. So select your text. And then copy. Paste in front again. Then go to type menu. Type on the path. Type on the path options. And flip it. Okay. So it's there. We don't see it. Okay. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, select open my other character palette. Let me change this baseline shift options. See? I'm going to make it smaller for now. And then, let me rotate it a little bit. I'm going to type different word with a different typeface. So my typographic choice was this. And then let me type... Um, Best coffee in town. The same word. And let me rotate it. Best coffee in town. Okay, so it looks good so far. And then let me add some more, like the um, um, established it in 1997, that type things. So I'm going to type another word. ESTD establish it. Let me change the uh, my baseline shift option to zero point, and then my text color is gonna be um, that light beige. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So this shop was established in 
1997. All right. So we're getting in there. Okay. One more thing is I want to add some more. One more thing behind. So um, uh, let me choose the, the outer ring, the, the big circle. Let me copy this, edit, copy, and paste in front. And I'm going to move it back. But um, before we do that, let me make it a little bit bigger. Object, arrange, send to back. Uh, about that size. Okay. Leave it just as uh, just like that. Let's draw one more thing. I'm gonna choose my uh, uh, ellipse tool, and the color is gonna be this light beige color. Okay, so I'm gonna draw one tiny circle. Perfect, so about this size. Okay, so that looks good. Now open your brushes panel. Select this little tiny circle and drag and drop. And we're going to uh, apply as a pattern brush. Okay. And the spacing, 100%. Okay. Now you don't need to keep this. Now select the outer ring, the, the big circle. Set your fill color to nothing and the stroke color. Choose that. And then I'll open your brushes panel and apply this. That's cool, isn't it? Okay, then let me zoom out. I'm going to object and then I expand the appearance just in case I change the color later. Okay, so then let me select this and uh, establish it here. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Okay, so that looks way better now. One last thing is, I need to have a coffee mug in the middle. So this time, I'm going to use this. So copy and paste it. Uh, arrange, bring to front. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Like that. So i there. Okay. I still feel a little this orange stroke i want to make it a little bit thicker three yep that looks better okay let me select all i'm going to group them object and group make it a little bit smaller place it right next to it even smaller okay so logo number two is done now logo number three let me zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to set uh, my stroke color to this orange and no fill color this time. And let me click somewhere. I'm going to draw 300 point by 300 point another perfect circle like this. Okay. And then let me copy this, edit, copy, and paste in front. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Hold down the option. Keep pressing the corner and the shift key. Maybe about that size. Okay. Then now select the outer one. Let me increase the stroke weight up to 20 point. Yep, 20 point is good. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. So somewhere there, like that. Okay, now. We're going to draw one line somewhere a little under center. So uh, let me draw the line like that. And then stroke weight is going to be 20 point again. The same stroke weight like that. Uh, I'm going to move it a little bit lower. So somewhere like this. Okay. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer than this. Okay, just to make sure, select all three lines and then align and center. Okay, so it looks good. Now, go to object menu and expand it. Okay, then now select your shape builder, hold down the option, delete, delete, and delete that 
and delete it section. Then go to Pathfinder, unite it as a one shape. So now this is just a one shape. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to drill another line there. 20 point uh, with that color. 20 point. Okay, so it looks good. I want to keep the kind of a same length. So let me make it slightly shorter. The shorter. Like that. Okay. So it looks good. Let me expand it. Okay. I'm going to put this on the bottom. Temporarily for now. Okay. Now let me type the word. Cafe Monte Alto. So uh, Cafe Monte Alto. With the same text color. And same typeface, gonna make it a little bit bigger and bigger so it fits there. Cafe Monte Alto, like that. Okay, and then also I want to add one more um, thing. Let me move this one to the bottom a little bit, even lower. And I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay, so it looks better. And let me draw um, one line first. From there to there. Okay. Uh, no, not this one. I'm going to keep using this. That's there. And let me draw uh, one rectangle. And then the color is going to be, um, the field color is going to be this. And the stroke color, I'm going to use that orange. Okay. Uh, not this one. Draw the new one. From there to there, like that. Okay. And then field color is this. And the stroke color is the orange. And the stroke weight, I'm going to increase it like 3. Then select your the, uh, direct selection tool and round the corner like that. Okay. All right. So let me select all this, align, center. So it looks good. Okay, so from here, I just want to type something uh, in the middle, like uh, best coffee in town. Okay, I want to use the different typeface and different text color. The same text color like this. Uh, I'm going to use different typeface. This time, um, one of my favorite Futura. Future. Okay. Right. Make it a little bit bigger. Best coffee in town. And the center. Okay. So it looks good. And also I want to say uh, it's published in 1997 things on the bottom. So I'm going to choose ESTD. And this time I'm going to use the same typeface I was using and my text color I'm gonna use the orange okay and I'm gonna make it slightly bigger than that okay so it's there so establish it space 1997 make it even slightly bigger than that okay so uh, somewhere there. And let me draw one little star in the middle. Like that. There. 
So there's three things. I'm going to group them. <coughs> Object group. Okay. Select everything. Let me do the center. So it looks good. Just let me add one more thing. The coffee beans we drew at the very beginning. That is this. So let me make a copy. And then I'm going to just make it bigger. Somewhere there. About this size. Okay. So I think my logo number three is done. So let me select everything. Let me group them. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And let me place it on top. So logo number three is done. Now, the last one, logo number four. Uh, so first, I'm going to choose my uh, rectangle tool. And then um, set yeah, my uh, fill color to nothing and the stroke color. I'm going to use that orange again. And let me draw one perfect circle, I mean the square. Just about that size. Okay. And now let me choose my um, um, ellipse tool. So I can draw one perfect circle. So a circle, let me draw one perfect circle about that size. And then I'm going to place it somewhere there. Select both, align, and center. So it looks good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Uh, about that size. It's going to look better. Just make sure, center, everything. Okay. So now, select. Choose there your rotate tool. What I'm going to do is, uh, let me show you this one first. Uh, change the, your view option to outline view. Okay. Then, this circle, move this down to the center. So, um, see, they are kind of overlapped here in the center. Download one more. Okay. So, right there. Okay. Then now, I'm back to the um, preview mode. Select the circle. Hold down, uh, choose the, your rotate tool. Place your mouse cursor on this bottom anchor point. Okay. Then hold down the option. Can you see the other dots? Then click. Rotate 90 degree angle. Copy. Then we're going to repeat it. Command D. Command D. Now select everything. Okay. Then choose the uh, open the pathfinder window and unite it as one shape. Okay. So that's the shape we're going to need. Okay, now let me zoom out a little bit. This time, I'm going to go to Object Menu and Path and Offset Path. 7, I'm not sure. Let me try the 8. A little bit bigger. Okay, so that looks better. And then let me choose the, 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 the middle one, the original one. Then I'm going to increase the stroke weight like that 10 point all right so it looks good now uh, i just need to add the um, uh, some text and then some information inside so first let me type the word uh the name of the cafe monte alto i'm gonna skip the other cafe because it's too many so um i'm gonna choose my typeface let me just use my uh, um, eyedropper so I can sample this color and the typeface. I'm going to make it fit in the midsection. There, it's too big. Somewhere there, Monte Alto. Okay, now let me have a copy. This thing. Uh, option. I want to have this color there somewhere there okay maybe a little bit smaller and then let me type the other established in 1997 things again there 
ESTD nineteen ninety seven. Let me just sample that. Okay. There. See? All right. Uh, I just need a, a little star. Let me zoom in in the midsection and let me choose my um, uh, star tool. I'm going to draw a little star in the middle. All right, there. And let me group them. Object and group. Okay. I want to make these things a little bit bigger, like that. Okay, so um, the coffee and the ear, Montialto, the title, and I want to have a few more things here. So first I'm going to draw one line uh, with that uh, light beige stroke color, like that, somewhere there. Okay, maybe a little bit longer. Okay, then let me draw this time uh, one rectangle, same field color, just like that. Okay, and then let me round the corner with this direct selection tool. And then also I want to increase this stroke weight that is too thin, too light. Okay, about that. Okay, so for now, let me select everything, uh, align and center, so it looks good. Uh, let me type the word, just coffee. Okay, I'm going to use different typeface for that. Uh, another future, maybe bold. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger, like that. It looks kind of a little bit too big. Okay. And the last thing, I want to add the coffee beans on the bottom, which is this. And then, let me make it smaller. Like that. But I want to have a different color. Uh, fill this orange. All right. So I think we are all done. So let me select. I'm going to group them. And let me make it a little bit smaller. So we have four. So we got all these four the kind of a retro style logo, the coffee shop logos. And then uh, at the very beginning, we created these three symbols, coffee mugs and the coffee beans. And then uh, we made this. So uh, you can change your combinations. And then just one more thing. Let's do this. Go to File, Place. I will just want to add in one more kind of texture so it looks more like kind of retro style. So place it. Let me cover the whole thing with this image. So it covers everything. Okay. I'm going to make it fit. Uh, there. And top and the bottom and the side. Okay. Now select your image. Open the transparency panel. In this, the other uh, blend mode from normal. Change it to multiply. See? So you can see the texture. So it looks much cool, cooler. All right. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.